Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's me, Miss Chrissy J in the most natural, in my naturalness, you know. <laughs> this video is exciting because I've been on this piercing journey. You guys know, if you don't know, I'll link it below. I had my cheeks pierced. I got them pierced after I came back from my Colorado assignment, along with getting my neck tattooed. I'm in this era of like, I just want to be extremely tatted and pierced. I don't know what it is. I think just like growing up, I, I had piercings growing up. You know, my mom was really strict. So she would make me take them out every time I got them. I had to sneak to get them. I was like 16. Um, and I wasn't really a tattoo girl because me personally, if I'm going to put a tattoo on my body, it has to mean something. I wasn't just somebody that wanted to get tattoos just to say I got tattoos. Piercings of the cheek is so like 2011. It's very old school, but I love it. And I don't care about but I'm old school, please, okay? I'm old school, okay? So I got them pierced and um, it was not the best experience. My piercer was experienced. He's done a lot of piercings before, but this is a very high maintenance piercing, meaning you have to see your piercer a lot. If your piercer is unreliable, don't get your cheek pierced there. You need someone that's gonna always, oh, hey, my cheek piercing fell out. Okay, come to my shop tonight. Not tonight, but like, come to my shop tomorrow morning. They're like, you need somebody like that. Like, I know it may be like, damn, they gotta just stop what they're doing to care to you. Yeah, it's a high maintenance piercing. It's a high maintenance piercing. And I asked before, don't tell me you wanna do the piercing if you can't keep up with it. Like, I called so many places in New York and they were like, no, we don't offer it. Respect, I respect it. I respect it because either you don't know how to do it because you need somebody that knows good anatomy and everything. You don't know how to do it, cool. Or you don't really like somebody that's coming to your shop constantly. You got to keep up with it. Cool. I respect that you said no. But if you're going to offer it, you need to make sure that you're there when the person with the cheek piercings needs you. He wasn't always available when I needed him to downsize, upsize. And it's a lot of downsizing and upsizing. Because if it flares up, which it does a lot, because this is a piercing that's in the area that you move your mouth a lot. Talking, eating, yawning, laughing. You're moving your mouth a lot. So it's a lot of flare-ups that can happen. So when a flare-up happens, that don't mean you just take the piercings out. No. If it's not like, like a hole in your cheek and, you know, like crazy, then you don't need to take it out. If it is, then you go to the doctor and figure it out. But if it's a bump, what you're going to get, you just upsize. That's what you call it. You get a longer bar so that it can heal. You put your ointment, your tr treatment on it. You clean it and you let it sit. And the bump will eventually go away. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I did my full research on these after I got them pierced the second time. So the first time they got a bump on it and I know why the bump was on it. It's a long story. I'm not going to get into that. I got a bump on it and I removed it. I threw the piercings away. I was so mad because they were so expensive and they were so cute and I was so mad because my piercer was an asshole and he wasn't responding the way I needed him to and I was just pissed the fuck off so I just took it out. Now, I got it again because I kept thinking about it and I kept looking at old pictures and I'm like, oh my God, I look so cute with my cheek piercing. So I got it again. I found this piercer in Soho. Um, she did the piercing. Cool. Whatever. You know, she explained to me it is high maintenance. She'll be here to pierce my, you know, to downsize, upsize, whatever the case is. Now, um, I swallowed my, I, this bar came out three times. It fell out three times. Brushing my teeth, eating, blah, blah, blah. Then this one fell out and the back fell out and I think I swallowed the back. So yeah the what's holding this up is literally a piece of a back of an earring like a silicone piece that i cut and i you know sanitized and everything and i put it it's been in my mouth for like five days now i hit up my piercer and i let her know like listen i ate my piercing i think it's fall out of my mouth i need to see you asap so you could like downsize because i keep biting on them and all of that good stuff you know she didn't respond the way i wanted her to respond she wasn't like you know come to the shop i'm here da, 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 da. she just was like yes she just responded yes and i'm like what does yes mean she didn't give me an appointment to come see her in the shop. She didn't even open my DM. It just still says sent. And that pissed me off. Because I'm like, again, like, y'all do everything to get my money in the beginning. Like, yeah, I'm going to be there for you. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. But then when I need you, you're nowhere to be found. So I said, okay, no, I'm not taking this piercing out again. I'm just not dealing with these piercings no more. I'm doing it myself, baby. I literally did my full research on these piercings. Shout out to, I'm going to put her name below. Because I don't know from the top of my head, but she's on TikTok, Instagram, she has a blog. She is really notorious for like teaching you about cheek piercings. And she taught me a lot just from me reading her blog post and looking her up on Instagram and TikTok and following her, you know, advice and expertise. She really helped me. So I'm going to put her right here. Um, 
if you're into cheek piercings i recommend you like go to her because she's amazing with it to the point where i don't even think my piercers pierced my cheeks with the right size gauge i was like wait i was supposed to be a 12 gauge and they pierced it with a 14 gauge and yeah so anyway i did my full research i literally ordered everything that a professional piercer uses when they do your piercings everything from the clamps to the tapers to everything okay I decided that I'm going to use these. I'm going to put, I'm going to do my own piercings from now on. I'm going to downsize and upsize my own piercings. Why? Because these piercings are not reliable. They'll tell you, oh, we're there for you. We'll be there. Da, da, da. And then when you contact them, they're so busy because they take on like 50 clients in a day. Now, cool. You want to get your money? I have no problem with that. But don't say that you're going to be there when I, when I need you and you're not. That's when I don't like that. You took on a piercing. You said you can do it. You said you were cool but then when i when i told you i literally swallowed my piercings fall out of my mouth i need you nowhere to be found so i had to figure out our own ghetto ass way to put a piece in it to keep it in my mouth so my hold on close because i paid a lot of money for this and this is one of my favorite piercings so literally i bought everything um did my research and i know exactly what i'm doing so do not worry i do not recommend everybody to do this at home i recommend you go to a professional me personally i've always been the type of person where i can turn myself into a professional like, yeah, I might not be professional in the beginning, but give me some time to research, get all the products, practice. Maybe I'm a professional. To the point where I'm interested in actually doing piercings as like a like career. Like a side, not career, but like a side job. Because you know, guys, I do like a bunch of stuff. I'm a CNA, YouTuber, I do wigs, all of that. So I'm going to add that to my resume. To the point where I bought the um, piercing Bible on Amazon. And it's just a big book of piercings and everything you need to learn about piercings because... I just can see myself being a piercer like and, and a good piercer is not always oh I got my license so I'm a good piercer no there's a lot of piercers with their license and they're shitty piercers what makes a good piercer is good communication and people skills that's what I have y'all know that I work in a healthcare business when you work in a healthcare business baby you got to have good communication skills period because you're talking to people all day long see they're really long I bought my piercings from Tulsa body jewelry and it came with the little stickers and little things like that it also came with this card that um it says Tulsa body jewelry since 2006 it's in Oklahoma I found it online and the only reason why I ordered from them is because they had titanium jewelry now you want to use titanium when it comes to cheap piercings not sterling silver no I ordered some from Amazon before I did my research I was rushing I was like I'm just gonna order some from Amazon they're cheap da -da -da. When I really did my research, I was like, no, I cannot put those in my cheeks. Sterling silver? Are you crazy? No. It has to be titanium, the highest grade of metal. So um, that's why I ordered from this site because they, they were the only ones that had titanium in different sizes. A lot of some certain some sites had titanium, but they only had short ones. And I can't put a short gauge in my mouth because it's still healing. It's only a month old. I don't want it to get in, you know, bumps or infected because it's too tight. You know, you need to make sure that when you downsize, you're not downsizing a lot. You're downsizing little by little. Sorry, I live in New York. That's the police. Um, I don't know who they're for. So, yeah, it came with a card to like, it basically gives you a card where you can, you can measure the, ga the gauge that you have to see like how big it is, how small it is. Um, so, I'm so happy about that. My piercings came in here. And I ordered, like I said, six, and I'll go through those in a minute, but it came in this little baggie right here. Okay, so to downsize today, I'm going to be using some Aura Gel um, mouthwash. You need to wash your mouth out before you um, put it, before you do anything with the cheek piercings. You need to make sure you use mouthwash. This is really good. Um, it kills odor, soothes irritated gums, um, and it was actually referred to me by the second piercer. She told me to get this, so I got this. Um, I bought this from the shop that I got my piercing at. It's really small, but it's a purified saline wash. I've been using this to clean my piercings since I've gotten them. But because it's such a small bottle, I don't really have that much left. So I went ahead and I ordered Nil Meds Nil Cleanse Piercing Aftercare Fine Mist. And it looks like this. It has like five stars. And I, everybody says like the way that it's positioned, it's really good to clean the piercings. Because I guess you just press this here and it goes up like that. So, you know, it's a good angle. So I got this to clean my piercings. Um, I got some clamps. 
and they look like this and these are the clamps that are going to hold the piercing so that i can change it without issues it looks like that it actually came with two um and i got these from amazon taper i got a taper insertion and it looks like this and i actually just open it up so a taper insertion is basically you know you see a lot of people when they do their own piercings at home or when they change their piercings they use their fingers da da da, da. because it's the cheeks and it's very sensitive I didn't want to just use my fingers in it. I wanted to use a taper that I can put in the hole while I'm getting my stuff together. Because you have to like measure the piercings, you have to see what you're doing, and the piercing could close really fast. You could be doing all of that and then the piercing closes. And then, so I like the fact that I can have this taper so I can put it in my cheek while I'm looking for what piercings to use and what piercings to change it with. Um, and then of course I have my gloves you need gloves in order to do this so let's get right into it i didn't want this video to be too long it's already going to be too long so watch me downsize my piercings i got a 14 gauge i don't know what gauge my piercer pierced my cheeks with because as you as i said i wasn't really educated before i was just like pierce my cheeks whatever but now i know what gauges are and what sizes etc etc and um i really don't feel like asking her she hasn't opened my dms so i'm not about to just keep on asking and begging um i'm just moving on so um, I got a, I got a 14 gauge um, taper size and I got 14 gauge um, barbells just because usually piercers pierce it with a 14. You're not really supposed to. A 12 is better, but usually a lot of people pierce with a 14 gauge. So I'm assuming that this is a 14 gauge. I don't know 100% if it is. I'm going to um, measure it because I have the card to see which one it is. So, okay, so it tells me I bought two of each. So. I have a 22, I have a 22, um, and they both come separated, so they come in little baggies separated, not together. So I got 22s, I got a 19, 19 is obviously smaller than the 22s, I got 16, this is the 19, and the, the shortest one I got was, oh no, no, then I got, after the 16, I got a 13. And I think before, oh, and then the last one I have is a 14. So the smallest, okay, no, no, 14. The smallest ones I got was a 13. That's the smallest size. Um, so, you know, over the course of months, I'm gonna downsize. So I'm gonna downsize today. Then I would say like every three months, I can probably downsize depending on how my piercings are looking. If they're healing good, no bumps, no issues, I'll downsize at least like every three months until it's to the point where you can see deep 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 dimples you know when you see those people with the pierces their dimples is like then you can see it okay so i don't know what size this is i'm going to measure everything right now first things first i'm going to put my gloves on so that's important i'm going to do that because i don't know what, what size gauge i have in my mouth i don't even know what size you know this is so we're gonna measure everything now so I know what I have in my mouth and everything like that. Um, I'm going to use some mouthwash right now before I even take anything out of my mouth. I'm just gonna pour it in this little glass. Now, I'm gonna take this taper out and I'm gonna clean it with some saline wash. First things first. Anything that goes in your mouth, you wanna clean it, period. Okay, I have the taper in my mouth right now, you guys. I don't know if you can see it. It's right there. This piercing is still in. I have this taper in so that my hole doesn't close when I'm trying to measure everything. So, okay. So, this is the piercing I literally just took out of my mouth. 
and I'm literally just gonna screw this back on because I want to measure what it is and everything like that to see what I have so let me see it looks like I was pierced with a 14 gauge I knew it I knew it I knew it this piercing is one inch this piercing is an inch and a half one and one half inch bar is what she used in my cheek piercings which is good because that was what was supposed to use for the swelling but it's too long and we need to downsize so the next size i have is a 19 that's the no i have a 22 sorry i have a 22 um that's this that's one that's smaller so i'm gonna measure that on here so i'm gonna take it out of this little plastic right here and if you see these two together it's a little bit smaller and this ball is actually bigger the ball that she used is actually bigger than the ball that this jewelry company i'm gonna put this one in my mouth see how it feels to make to see if it's like you know a little tighter but not too loose where i'm biting on it but still like a little you know a little downsize so first things first as you guys know i'm gonna make sure that i put it in the saline because you want to make sure that you clean your piercings before you put anything in your mouth. So that's soaking in there. Okay guys, so I just downsized my own piercing. Look at it. It's a good size. It's not too long. Like I still have space as you guys can see. Look. You see? I heard that face. It's probably not a lot of space because my cheeks, whenever you touch your piercings and mess with it, it gets re-swollen. So my cheeks is re-swollen again, but it'll go down in a few days. I'm not worried. But um, look, I still have a good amount of space. You see? Still have a good amount of space but I'm not biting on it when I eat, you know? So I think the 22 millimeter was the best size to downsize to, so I'm so happy. Um, so this is my old jewelry, and now I know if this one acts up, like if this one, you know, starts acting up or whatever the case is, I can just go back to my old jewelry um, and upsize to my old jewelry because it's longer and yeah. So that side is good. Now I'm going to clean it with my saline spray. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, okay. The way that goes, ooh. gotta be careful you don't get it in your eye. It sprays upwards, but it's good for the piercing. So we're gonna do it again. So that looks good and i like that they have smaller ball balls my other ones as you can see look how big this these balls were that i was given and look how small this one is yeah i like the smaller one better um okay so we're gonna do the right side and we're done Okay guys, I successfully downsized my new cheek piercings all by myself. Um, like I said before, disclaimer, this is not, I'm not telling you to go and do what I did and do it yourself, but me personally, I just can't depend on these piercers. I haven't had the good luck of finding a piercer that sticks by their word. Um, and I'm just, I'm just tired of dealing with them, you know? Yeah, that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching.
Um, and I guess I'll see you on my next downsize, which is in three months. I'll film it every time I do it, so do not worry. And when I downsize again, maybe my dimples will be even dimpler. But I will see you guys in my next video. But until then, keep slaying and thanks for watching.